Hello. <gasps> Hello. Wow. Welcome back. This is week 31 of our news dumpy of the Novo Convo podcast. We're two stupids. Him and I make a hype. Hype. <laughs> That's right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hype. Yeah. Yeah. All this pop culture this past week. Not sure how hype. Did you say is. week thirty or thirty one? Thirty one. Oh, okay. I heard thirty. Yeah. I was just like, wait, oh. hold up. Oh. It must be the vacation brain. Oh, chill. Unless you edit and I actually said thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Lamar. Whoops. I'm one of your hosts, Veronica Bowen. I'm joined by Harrison O. He's to my left. Over here. To his right. Yeah. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. And if you're new here, we both just want an excuse to talk about anything that ranges from animated comics. But also, we're trying to clear up our never-ending backlog, which is now never-ending, unfortunately. And you know, with all this stuff. Yeah. Possibly. But also, some would say it's two people conversing. <gasps> like Novo Combo and Juvio Combo, spot right over there, up above my head. Wow. 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 Genius. Just mind blown. You can watch every episode on YouTube or, li- or listen... Or- <gasps> or listen to it as a podcast by searching Novo Convo on your podcast ser- service of choice. I am struggling this morning. That's okay. I need more coffee. <laughs> and in this episode, we're going to be talking about week 31, which was basically the first week of August, because we're in August now. Um, that's crazy. So July 30th through August 5th is what we'll be talking about in these episodes. We don't spoil, like, series or anything, so don't worry about all of that. Um, and, yeah. I don't know. Just skip over, like, three seconds. If we if are you start spoiled. hearing something... If, yeah. Could yeah, be something you're somewhat sweet. interested. Yeah. But um, let's get into pop culture. Uh, a few deaths while you were out. So... Harrison was actually out last week. <laughs> this is my recap too, trust. This is his so recap actually... as well. Um, you know Pee Wee Herman, the actor? Yes. Actor is Paul Rubens. He actually died. I did. I saw at this. At 70 uh, due to cancer, which he did not tell the public about. Um, yeah. So that's really sad. We, I think we just kind of like grew up with him in the 90s. So he was like everywhere on commercials, TV shows, like... And this, oh, no, um, SNL when it was like super popular. Yeah. I said NFL and I was like, not football, but SNL. <laughs> Maybe. I don't remember. But I didn't, I didn't realize he was that old. Old? I know. For some, yeah. yeah. It was, for some reason, I just didn't think so. I think it was bone cancer. Bone cancer? Oh. Yeah. And he was fighting it for the past like six years. Oh, I see. Six, seven years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we both don't watch Euphoria. Um, it's just not like our type of show, which is okay. It's on Max. Um, there's two seasons case. out. Yeah, just in case you all um, want to know what we don't watch, really. Um, but Angus Cloud died at the age of 25. Um, he played the drug dealer Fez, Fezco, Fez, um, in the show. And it's really sad because... The week prior, they lost his dad. Oh, yeah, that's really due sad. to suicide. And then um, Angus did the same thing like a week later. So oh. his his family they have to like bury, um, they have to bury two people back to back and like grieve two people at the same time, yeah. which is really, really sad. sad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he was twenty five. I think this news came out pretty like surprisingly. Um, so yeah that's really sad um in striking news as we've been talking about i think all summer basically we'll probably have like strike. something for like the next like a couple months. yeah um good old Stephen amell known for playing green arrow on mm-hmm. cw he just can't seem to zip it <laughs> Um, because he's actually scabbing. He, so actors are not supposed to do any interviews, go to any cons, do podcasting, which is a new one. So now actors can't podcast. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, that's a new one. I so mean, they can't do anything that correlates to any TV show that they're doing, movie. Like, they just can't, like, showcase it. But he went on a very small, to a very small, like, Comic Con, basically. Like, a con. And he was doing interviews. And he was, like, promoting his new TV show. And they asked him about the strike. And he left some interesting comments so basically he agrees with the union but he doesn't agree with the striking which is uh hypocritical in my opinion i think so i did read this and i like read his <laughs> updates and everything i think it's more and i've seen already seen like a few actors go down this i think the general viewpoint whenever they whenever an actor goes against it is that it seems like they wanted another alternative than striking there's a they want like another yeah. another way to impact but so, so i get that part so anyone that says like oh they just don't like the striking part they feel like oh we should be able to do other things besides to like have our support or like you know to yeah. voice what are like you know essentially like their um grievances yeah and it's just like how like striking the yeah. only every way every time yeah so it's hard because whenever someone's like oh i don't like this i'm like then say what you want to do say, instead yeah. yeah exactly instead of just saying oh this doesn't work in your opinion yeah. but then what so i that's why i was i get what he was trying to say but it's hard whenever it's hard when the majority are doing it right but yeah, not him and not him right <laughs> yeah. so that's so any actor that doesn't you're gonna get you have a cross like yeah and he had to go he did a whole notes pad like um not apology but over explaining himself he explained each po bullet each point bullet like, point each line he's like this is what i said this is what i meant yeah uh like, which i think says a lot in my opinion because if he has to like kind of like backtrack it but they were like simple no, sentences so this is also the other thing this is also, I'm I'm giving you the alter like the yeah the other like the side the other side because you said this for Simo as well. I personally see it as we're in this we're in this point when if someone wants to say something, everyone's gonna misunderstand it. Let's be real, we already misunderstand text because I've been oh, through yeah. this, so it's yeah. the same idea. But the hard part is now for for some people. I'm like to me though, I get what you mean though. Is like if you're gonna say it. Kind of say it with like concise thought, and say it with thought. chest, and, and, yeah, <laughs> and in concise thoughts. I think concise, but I I don't think it's bad if anyone, at least if they like update it, it's like okay, this is what they meant. Because sometimes yeah. if they don't update it, to me that means like okay, they mean it. Yeah. But if they have to update, that means like too many people are like misunderstanding possibly. I don't but know. it's just like his sentences were short and sweet. Yeah. Like they were, but he's like over explaining himself in the notepad, which I think a lot of people are like, one, you're already scabbing by like yeah. promoting so your that's TV the other show. Thing. Yeah, that's the other thing. Two, you say you're with the union, but you don't like striking. So give us another al alternative or just like sit down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's the other thing is like, that's the harp. <laughs> to me, it's like, so just to, see, I had to clarify. Yeah. I think it's fine for people to clarify, but. The, his actions don't match up. Don't really match. Yeah, exactly. That's the bad part. Um, and he's like really against the striking, which I mean, I get where you're coming from. Oh, so question. He went to that panel, but Grant Gustin only went for like a little bit, right? Yes. Is that the same one? Because they took photos that together. Was, I think that was the same one, but Grant actually left to go strike yeah. with his Flash team. Yeah. Yeah, because like that's when I got confused. I was like, "Oh, was he just there?" For, I don't like, think I don't think Grant did anything. I don't think, I he, think he was just for there. for photos, right? Like he's just there for photos. Yeah. Yeah. But he has nothing to promote anymore, like yeah. or to like do right. anything. So that's he was I just, just kind of make sure. there. That was no, the part yeah, I was, was like, just... I think he's just doing photos while I'm Stephen Amo is like doing the con, like, actual con. Yeah. Yeah. Like... No, like right after Grant left to like go strike. <laughs> yeah. Because then yeah. I saw Grant's, like, yeah. Yeah, I saw Grant's thing after. I was like, oh, okay. All right. I have to keep up with the timeline. Just <laughs> making <flash>. sure. <laughs> no, yeah. 
But yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, he hasn't sucks. even donated to the union because they have a fundraiser. Um, See, like, that's the other thing. It's like, just donate then. If someone yeah. that doesn't want to do much, just donate. Yeah. It's fine. The Rock donated. The the, rock. Probably the most amount. They won't say the amount, but like he's donated the most to the fundraiser for the strike. Yeah. Like Jennifer Anderson, um, Matt Damon, Oprah. They've all donated a million dollars. Damn. Meryl Streep. See? A million dollars and they're like the one percent right because yeah. the strike is this union strike is for like the background actors. yeah and it's dude it's hard to talk to people about this because everyone's always like, oh but actors are rich i'm like no that's literally the one percent yeah you only see the ones that made it you got to think about everyone yeah yeah it's just annoying whenever like i hear people talk about it they're like oh but they're all rich anyway see they could donate that much i'm like it's a small subset of people yeah subset of actors and it's just like us glorifying hollywood all over again for decades yeah yeah we could really go into the strike but we won't yeah they just gotta like (laughs) i'm all for it i'm like this is yeah oh yeah me too they need to be paid more. Yeah. They can't if they can't even make twenty six thousand dollars to always, get medical. Yeah. Like that's crazy. Yeah, that's just crazy. No, let's get into. Okay, Lizzo. She she's in deep shit. Um, she's actually being sued by her former dancers for sexual harassment and a hostile work environment. Um, that's. Yes. I saw I only saw okay, I only know about that I only know that there's drama because I saw memes of it, but I didn't know the context it's of like what's good. going on. And I was like It's a thirty page legal document detailing everything. I'm assuming um, class action or is it just each dancer? It's a class action and there's like ten I think ten dancers suing her. Holy yeah, former shit. dancers. And like there was a former like uh, dance director that's like standing behind this action, but like she's not in it. But she's like, yeah, can confirm, Lizzo's not that great, and Lizzo's whole platform is anti-bullying. Yes, body positivity, body t- positivity, and like, yeah, which then leads into the anti-bullying. Overall. Yeah, yeah, overall, yeah, it's uh, just crazy, dude. and I feel like. I don't know about you, but the trend of, like, nice celebrities really give me the ick. Like, Ellen, James James Corden, they're nice. But then you hear the rumors that they don't treat their, you know, it's all workers the, it's correctly. It's all the face. It's the it's face. It's just, like, for... a facade. Yeah. And I guess Liz was the same way, and I'm just like, girl, you just absolutely... Yeah. Killed it's just the career. face that they present for like media, right? Oh yeah, that's hard. Yeah. To, I mean, that's hard nowadays. You can't tell what's genuine anymore, what's other than gen- like yeah. you see comments of people saying, "Oh, it was yeah, this guy's actually genuinely nice." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's no, always I fan just... interactions, but or yeah. like how they treat their uh, workers. Yeah, and co-workers. she did put out a little notepad thing on Classic. Instagram. She said a whole lot of nonsense. Let me just say that. Hey man, what if she's just clear? <laughs> Hey man, no, but this is pretty bad. This no, the, I I only saw I only saw after I think yesterday night, like kind of like a blurb this, of what's yeah, going on. Yeah. So when you saw when I saw this on, I was like, ah, hopefully I get more yeah. deets because I I did not see this. Yeah. Apparently, one dan- it was so bad that one dancer she could they were rehearsing for twelve hours straight and she couldn't use the bathroom, so she had to like pee in her like. Oh my god. Dress. Yeah. That's so messed up. Yeah, I know. And then, like, another dancer, she has, like, I don't remember what kind of disability it is, but, like, if she's, like, under stress, like, she, her, like, vision gets, like, fuzzy. Um, of course, and, like, if you're rehearsing. Yeah. And then, like, she, like, they wouldn't even, like, let her sit down. Like, she just, like, had to, like, rehearse all the way through. That's yeah. so stupid. I know. Isn't that crazy? I'm kind. I'm interested in wearing on where this goes. Um, well, just how cancel culture Lizzie, is, and like Lizzo's whole thing, though. I've always noticed it's always been like a back and forth, like body, like let's say, like it was like a positive thing, then all of a sudden, like a bunch of negative things, and then negative, a positive, yeah. then negative. It was just like 
always back and forth. And I was yeah. like, can't tell which one's consistent anymore. Yeah, I know. We'll see where this goes, but it's pretty serious if, if they're suing her. Yeah. Um, last but not least, Ariana Grande, your wife, your wife's deep into this drama. <laughs> she brought it up in our group group chat. And I was like, yes, let's talk about Ariana Grande and Ethan Slater. She <laughs> finally, she's catching up before the new semester. And then, because even she on the vacation, she asked me, she said, you know about this? I'm like, I know parts. I know, yeah. I know the action. I don't know the new stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ariana Grande is married to um, Dalton Johnson. I think that's his last name. I don't remember. His name's Dalton. Um, but apparently they're separating because now she's dating Ethan Slater, who is SpongeBob on Broadway. If you just Google what Ethan looks like, oh. <laughs> I love all the comments of like all the guys are like, if he got it, we have a chance, boy. We- <laughs> and I made a comment. I was like, his schlong must be schlong. <laughs> because who in their right minds would... I mean, I've heard that she likes to date them funny, which makes sense with Pete Davidson. It makes sense, yes. But at least Pete's cute. I think Pete's cute. In his own little, like, realm, he's cute. I, I can see that. I also think Pete Davidson's, like, the other... He was the other guy where we're like... Well, he's I mean, had a he string... Kim Kardashian. Good thing, I, I was gonna say, he's... His riz is, like, insane. Like, the yeah. his history of, like, who's he's been with also it's just like a testament of like hey boys we got it but he's funny but he's He's like actually funny personality takes you a long way (laughs) but ethan i don't i don't understand did you i think the what my wife saw was the side by side right of like ethan and frankie and frankie because frankie's her uh Older brother, older or gay brother. <laughs> oh, if you're Who, trained, that's on my side. Otherwise, look left and right. Who's also a big personality? He's like this, like he's always like a social media host. He's mm. always on red carpets doing interviews with celebrities. Um, so yeah, your wife showed the meme of like the side by side of Frankie like how close they look, Ethan, and how close they look, and it's really crazy. Like I could see it. But I also am like, ah, uh, it's also pulling strings. Yeah. Because Frankie's yeah. more good looking, in my opinion. Frankie is more good looking. So. Yeah. I think that whole thing's crazy. I feel like this is Ariana Grande's, like, sort of downfall. They're in Wicked together. That's yeah. how they know That's each other. That's how they know each yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll see where that goes. She's literally, I, I think uh, you and my wife said it too. It's like manifesting that one song that she made. Oh, yeah. Break up with your yeah. boy- uh, boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which I'm like, oof. <sighs> but yeah, that's all the pop culture. There was a lot while you were out. I don't, I didn't get it. I was like, the week that Harrison's out, <laughs> everything's got to start up. Just in time for this news <laughs> Just dumpy. in time. Um, let's go into anime stuff. So One Piece let me just tell the audience here that Harrison has been reading One Piece. He's in the 600s now, like chapter 600s. Um, I think I read like at least 150 chapters on vacation. <laughs> yeah, you read, you read, he read like four arcs while he was out. And I was just sitting here, I was like minding my own business. I was like, how far are you? Because I thought he'd read like one, two. The way he told me about some stuff, I was like, hold up. Now I got to start reading. <laughs> yeah, and just, she reads just to like refresh herself. Yeah, refresh myself. Yeah. yeah. She's already uh, caught up. Yeah, because I'm already what, caught up again. Because what's up with this? I because can't know. You, okay, so One Piece episode 1071 came out on 8-5. Um, and every site broke for at least an hour crunchyroll funimation all the pirating sites it just broke and 
yeah, it's crazy. I can't even... You're so far into One Piece, I can't even say it. But I'm close. But you're kind of close. Kind of, okay. Yeah, yeah. You're about 500 chapters behind. (laughs) Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I think... One Piece will continue to break Crunchyroll and all these sites the following week as well, like the next couple weeks. So she's being very nice, yeah, for those listening and not saying anything for my own sake. I know. So if you know what's going on, you know, great. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen season two currently on a break, Um, but Shibuya incident arc will start August thirty first. Man, I didn't know there was a break, but this makes sense now, though. But it makes sense, because yeah. we need to cry over what happened. <laughs> I can't wait. And we and we need to prepare ourselves for Shibuya. That's what I'm saying. It'll be a good one. It'll be a good um, one. This, I think this is... I don't, I don't want to overhype it too much, but this is when I really got hooked. I think this is good. when it fi- finally good. got, like... It became... Jujutsu, in a sense. If that oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Don't get too attached to anyone. <laughs> um, Don't listen to her. Okay. It's fine. Uh, right. Oh, gosh. I have to, like, breathe in while saying this. Okay. I'm giving the disgraced noble lady I rescued a crash course in naughtiness <laughs> scheduled for October 2023. Yep. The title says it all. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> Goblin Slayer Season 2 finally scheduled for October 2023. Dude, I know. That's how, how many years that? now? Since did... pre-COVID, I think. Yeah, no, pre-COVID season one for came sure. Out se- yeah, pre-COVID. Let me see, because I just want to know when it dropped. Because... Have, you see- have you seen Season 1? No. <laughs> 2018. Oh. It okay. first dropped, it like aired in uh, fall 2018. Yeah. Yeah, this I was supposed to drop. I knew, I know the, I know like the big stuff kind of. Mm-hmm. I just didn't get into it at the time. Because I think everyone was just like, oh, it's just like shock factor. But, yeah. No, uh, this was supposed to come out in like 2020, 2021. So I think COVID really like did a number on them. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. Let me breathe in. <laughs> My instant death ability is so overpowered. No one in this world stands a chance against me. Scheduled for January 2024. Again, the title says it all. It's like a definitely a um, light novel. Yes. <laughs> like the other most one. Definitely. High Card Season 2 scheduled for January 2024. Had no idea this had Season 1. Um, oh, I, I heard of it. So oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited for these last two anime stuff. Uh, Spice and Wolf getting a reboot scheduled for 2024. It's a oh, romance it's a anime. Uh, okay. um, it's really cute. I'm really happy it's getting a reboot. When did you watch? Did you watch this? Oh yeah, oh. yeah. This was like. I watched this in like 2020, but it was like a pretty. There are times anime. when I'm surprised, like how much you watch, but then <laughs> I, I'm not. Then you're not. Um, Kaiju number eight, anime scheduled for April 2024. A trailer is out. Looks good. It looks good. I'm excited. I have been reading this slowly. If you like Godzilla. Like as kaijus. the name kaiju says <laughs> like this is the anime for you yeah most definitely um but i'm tired of talking so yeah I don't worry us to harrison mine's whatever gonna be fast. little <laughs> yeah mine's <laughs> gonna be fast trust she gave me the rest i yes. got the scraps sure um did. <laughs> started off marvel um little thing uh guardians of the galaxy 3 streaming on disney plus now go watch it Go watch it. It's a tear jerk. We did a review on it. Yeah, we did a review. Go watch it. Watch our review. Yeah. See if you agree with us. I don't even remember what I said half the time. But I just I remember this one being I, I was gonna say this was yeah. emotional. This was a good send off. So yes, I recommend. It was. 
pretty sure we say goodbye to things. James Gunn. He's going to DCU. Uh, speaking of DC, <laughs> DC news, uh, Blue Beetle might be on, might be included in DCU. They might be able to sit at the table, depending on how the audience receives it. Yeah, that's it, all. It's, for for it's, for those acting in it, just anyone working on it. That's it's or mainly actors. Actually, it's mainly. No, he's a blue beetle actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mainly, yeah. Like, if this works, it's nice because then he'll be included. But it's that weird, it's that weird in between. They're testing it out. They're testing it out. But it's because the strike is happening um, for both actors and writers, <sighs> and I think a lot of people were really scared that Blue Beetle was going to be delayed because so many MCU stuffs being delayed, um, like Sony movies, like. It's just, but I mean, it's two weeks out, so we'll, we'll see. see. Yeah, I I think we'll we both see. will probably review it. It's just kind of we're also waiting to see how the audience receives it. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't. Is that weird? I mean, we, we've movie. talked yeah. about this a lot, but like superhero movies, like I'm just not into it right now yeah weirdly enough like i want to watch other stuff dude the barbenheimer effect is real and it like it snapped people out of it and they're like wait yeah. you can watch other stuff that doesn't yeah. have to be in a universe but it's Which good crazy yeah yeah i know so we'll see this is yeah it's literally just we'll see how it, it is. is it is <sighs> but in other shows and movies because we do look into that sometimes Speaking of Barbenheimer, Barbie will be available on Max this fall. Yes. No concrete date, but that's pretty fast. It is. Yeah, no concrete date. Or it feels date. fast, but... They just said fall. I don't know anymore. Yeah. I still think of, like, DVD, Blu-ray release schedule time. But they've made so much money. They did. Already. They probably are like, screw it. <laughs> we made this. They, I think they've surpassed, like, 900 million already. Yeah. Yeah, which is funny because I think Warner Brothers wanted The Flash to be like this, <laughs> like surpass like a billion dollars. But okay, you know, if how how can you project that? How could someone? It's like yeah, the yeah. numbers will make it that way. Sure. Yeah. Whatever. Instead, they lost like what two hundred thirty million. Trying to get on my end, but yes. Yeah. Good. It's crazy. It's good that it's they good. did. <laughs> yeah. Make a point, Jesus. Yes. I mean, we watched it, and we we have a review out for Flash and Barbie. And Barbie. Yeah. Barbie was better. <clears throat> it was. Anyway, uh, next thing is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem is out as of recording. So, as of this episode dropping, it's been it's has out. great reviews. Has great Ninety-six reviews. percent. Yes. On Rotten Tomato. Veronica asked me prior to recording. She said, "Are you watching?" I was like, oh. "I know." I yeah, was like, I was. I want to pick just, one. <laughs> pick one. I was like, "Turtles or Beatles? Pick one." <laughs> I was actually interested in turtles. I thought I always. I was already kind of interested because one, it was like Seth Rogen. Mm -hmm. It is. It was it, unexpectedly. Producing and producing voicing. it. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, "Huh? Okay, yeah. sure." But it looks legit legitimately good no great reviews all around yeah so so and it's one. um creeping up on barbenheimer um numbers isn't that crazy <laughs> Man. as it's weird that as our podcast we if you if for those listening you've noticed how we just kind of go into anime more just because i think the superhero burnout's starting but that's our yeah guess, right yeah. At least it is for us. For, us. for us, we're burning out on it. So, this is refreshing. That's a great point because we're skipping Secret Invasion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know what it was. I, I think I watched it a little bit more. MCU than you. shows to me. Yeah. Not it. <laughs> yeah. I. I mean, I just can't. I mean, well, granted, I am excited for Loki. I am excited for Loki. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Me too. I say that and I'm like, there's the few that are like, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we're, the burnout's real for us. Uh, I think we're just kind of like leaning towards like animated, like an 
anime stuff now. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of over it. Yeah. You'll probably hear that a lot. We'll be like, uh, we're kind of over it. <laughs> but I try to incorporate comic stuff because you could, because I have my DC, uh, yeah. DCEU or DCAU New Fifty Two review side series. Yeah, side yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <clears throat> Done right. Anyway. Oh yeah, that's it for movies. Wow, wait, yeah. wow. There's game news. I, I I'm wild about it because there. it's not me. <laughs> it's me this time. <sighs> wow. Oh yeah, Fortnite. Uh, okay, they're doing a collab with Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. That was officially announced. Mm-hmm. Let's play Fortnite, Veronica. Let's go. Get oh. So you can, oh no. Get Gojo. <laughs> <laughs> but Itadori, he's so cute. I forget who who's announced. Is it just Itadori? And then oh no, it's the uh, it's the, the four, four main. Okay, all four. Nice. Yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah, Nobra and Maggie meme too. Yeah, people thought I'd get in once Batman stuff dropped. They they did a promo at one point. Or a really? Times. Yeah, a couple times, right? Okay. And I just never. I was like, I don't I don't play Fortnite. It's show show. <laughs> Me too. Uh, last thing, a new Lego Harry Potter game is reportedly in the works. Yeah. Dude, that's. Wait, did I miss? Okay, I was out. I was no, out you were out. So yeah, I missed. Yeah, all they, stuff. there there's talks about a new, a new one. Oh, was it leaked? Okay, maybe. It oh, might okay, have been there, it was probably a leak, if anything. But that's yeah. exciting. If it's real, that's exciting. That is exciting. So I thought those, I thought those were fun. Hmm. Most definitely. Look at you yeah. giving me all the news. Like I'm surprised by. It. All hey, you were on vacation. I had to, yeah. I had to, had to write all this down. I was like, Harrison's come back to some gnarly shit. <laughs> pop culture popped off for sure. Pop, it did. I don't understand what happened last week. Full moon effect or something. <laughs> Mercury was in retrograde. Something, hey. something happened. <laughs> you, you did will this. I think. I don't remember if we said at the end of last episode or it, maybe it was off, off line, but it was like. Oh, imagine if you leave and everything just pop, like pops off, goes to hell. Yeah, and I'm yeah. Like, it would, I manifested it, would happen, it. You did. I did. Well, let's for hope content. for a better week next week. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Harrison, do you have any other closing thoughts? Any other no, news you want to is... dump on us? This this was good. I was back this from was vacation. Great. That's the dump. <laughs> He's back. I'm back schedule is back in order <laughs> yes. <of>. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but thanks for tuning in you can follow us on instagram tiktok twitter or x i should say threads and facebook at novo convo sidebar there. actually sidebar i did get the update it does say x it does yeah, it, it does. did change everything i was like dang unfortunate yeah. say goodbye yeah um if you're on youtube don't forget to hit that like button subscribe comment down below what do you want to see next what do you want us to do read review watch that's not superhero right now <laughs> um for the rest of the or, year potentially i mean or if it's a spin-off like super yeah invincible or yeah yeah or my adventures the boys. As, superman, as yeah superman. oh yeah that too yes yeah yeah uh but yeah just let us know in the comments what you like what do you want to see next from us what do you want to play maybe read review We're a little over halfway, 2023, so just let us know, you know? Yeah. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.